Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Hi, I'm Ross Rappaport with Roadfly.com, and for this edition of Roadfly TV, I've got my paws on Acura's totally redesigned TSX. Personally, I was a huge fan of the first TSX, and I couldn't wait to see if they followed it up with something even better. The good news is it's better in every way. The bad news, it's almost too good. The sheet metal is all new and has addressed most of the old car's design flaws, such as the slightly bulbous portion behind the rear wheels, which has now been substantially reduced. The TSX wears the latest version of the Acura corporate grille, which also adorns the faces of the RL and the TL. Personally, I could take it or leave it, but it is growing on me awful quick. Once you're behind the wheel, it's easy to forget that you're in an entry-level luxury car. This feels more like Acura's bigger TL sedan than it does the new TSX. The new cockpit has a much more aggressive design, and the general fit and finish has taken a few giant leaps. The navigation is Acura's newest, with real-time traffic and weather info. And, instead of the old car's touchscreen, the new car's nav display has been moved further back and is now controlled by this centralized wheel. On the road, the added refinement is immediately obvious. Whereas the old car felt small and scrappy, this feels, well, like a smaller TL. The steering is ridiculously precise, and the car hasn't lost any of its trademark agility despite gaining almost 160 pounds in the redesign. For 2009, the TSX's motor is thankfully mostly unchanged. It makes 201 horsepower and 172 pound-feet of torque. Mid-range wasn't really its strong suit before, but it's been substantially beefed up for this year. Now, my only gripe, and this is pretty much my only gripe with the car in general, is that if you want to shift it manually, in our car's automatic, you have to use the column-mounted paddles. You can't just reach out and push the shift lever like you could before. If you're a price-conscious shopper in a down economy like today's, you'll want to know the numbers. Price. This is probably the most expensive TSX that money can buy. It's got the automatic transmission and the technology package. It still only costs a shade over 32,000. Even better is the miles per gallon, 21 in the city and 30 on the highway. The 09 TSX is a better car in nearly every way than its predecessor. The styling and craftsmanship are simply on another level. The car is as solid as a bank vault and it cuts a mighty compelling figure as a more economical and efficient alternative to cars like the Infiniti G35 and the Lexus IS in that entry-level Japanese luxury segment. The only thing is, it's lost something. A little bit of that edge that guys like me crave, guys who might have driven an Integra or a Prelude back before we became fully-fledged adults. That's the only drawback in what I see as an unbeatable bargain in the under 30 grand segment. I'm Ross Rappaport. I'll see you next time on Roadfly TV. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.